Hola amigos, Ghost here, and today we're continuing our Let's Play of 1971, Project Helios. Last time, we got introduced basically to a new group of characters, and we were able to escape a laboratory of sorts and figure out more sto backstory to uh, the person that the other group is searching for, who uh, the person is Dr. Margaret. She is a, uh, and she's uh, basically the doctor working on the Project Helios, which, from what we gathered last time, I believe is somehow supposed to basically save humanity from basically the post-apocalyptic scenario that they're in so far. And yeah, we're just in a campfire. We uh, last time at the very end, we looked at the uh, things that they were talking about, uh, some of the documents and information that we gathered. But yeah, now let's get on to the actual next mission. Level 4, Outskirts of Thebes, Day 2. So either we will go be with the main the group we are with or with the other group. We'll see. Oh, we're with this group. Wilhelm, status report. Domi. This one is the farther fast uh, This one is the faster way to Thebes. But we have to continue walking near the scavenger zone. They are potentially hostile. I estimate between three and five assaults before we arrive. Minimum. Minimal. 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 Minimum. And a probability to survive of 25%. Of 60%, we would. We eh, if we find Folger soon. And I and I have a hundred percent trust in 50% of these soldiers. Let's go. We'll look for Folger and continue. <laughs> Oh, we only we used up last time we had only we had twenty and we used up five. Uh, now we only use we already used up some. What's this? Take Folger. Oh, we have twenty five percent now. Is this like? Hmm. I love how it's semi open world in a way too because you can explore all these areas. I immediately just ran into a new group. New slot, defreeze, unlocked. What's that mean? Defreeze, retrieve 5 HP lost by the cold. Huh? You lose cold? Wait, you lose HP from the cold now? What the fuck? Okay, uh... Let's figure out what the hell we're doing. I wasn't expecting combat this quickly. Uh, I can't target both. Only if they were slightly closer. Could they do nope? Uh this one. Damage this one. He's the closest. Lexi go there. Then, let's target this motherfucker. Pop. Alright, now we got two more to deal with. We're gonna go here. We're gonna shoot the shit out of this one. Bam. Gonna move Wilhelm there and beat the shit out of this one. And from there, I don't think we could do anything else. Nope, so we end turn. See what happens. Looks like they have an MP40. There are some accurate motherfuckers. Christ. This one, though, didn't do much damage. Oh, they can shield up. That's not good. Okay, okay, uh... Cold will freeze HP each turn. Some units are immune to cold. It looked like ours were immune. I didn't see a single one of us get hurt from it. Well, actually, I think... Hmm. Well, regardless, throw a grenade. I 
Actually, he might be actually not immune. Yeah, I can see a single blue uh, health thing. That probably means he's going to lose some next turn. Alright. With the last bits, I'm going to give you an extra point. Alright, there we go. Because what I'm going to do is move her up right next to him, like so. And then, oh shit. Then I'm going to shoot the shit out of him, like so. Pop. And then I'm going to stun this shit out of him as well. So he can't do shit this turn. I'm not going to waste any folder, because with this uh, match is about to be over. And... Boom! About to be dead. Because... Nikolai got a 100% chance of making you deceased. Like so. Bam! So we got just to face a huge combat encounter. So we might be needing to go this way, but first I'm gonna head backwards. Because there seems to be a lot of area you can go to. So I have no idea where is the right way. Because like there is a path that direction. Let's head back up here first though, where we were originally. To see... Uh, if there's anything else. Okay, that's where our vehicle is. We stashed it there. This is where some random supplies are. Looks like... That is like the bit... If we go that way, I think, is where we're supposed to go. Oh yeah, one other thing. Uh, if you guys hear some, uh, like, snoring, that's my dog. He decided to take a nap on my bed while I'm recording, so. Alright. This. Oh! Shoot! Okay, there's Folgar here, but there's an ambush. Oh, that's kind of. That's kind of cool that they actually do an ambush of some kind. Okay, it looks like there's only two of them, though. That's okay. Because if I throw one here, that's gonna do a shit ton of damage to him. And that should kill him, I think. Boink. Yep. Boink. He was boinked to death. We're gonna move you right there. Maybe right next to this motherfucker. And... Pow. There we go. Alina. Bastards. Cheetahs. Sons of a... It's their way to survive, and it's no worse than stealing their vulgar. This is how the real world works. But we thought it was abandoned, and we fought, fought for a greater, we fight for our greater good. Yes, our cause is fair, and now they are dead, and we are in a hurry. Yes, sir. And now we have 30, we murdered, we murked them motherfuckers. For thir only five Folgar. For only five. Jesus. Is there anything over on this side? No, there isn't. Alright, so we would have missed out some on some extra Folgar if we didn't go that way. Noted. Make sure to always explore. If there's multiple paths, always explore each one. And now we're entering, looks like, somewhat of the village slash out, out uh, sources of it. Anything here doesn't look like it. Oh, there's enemy. Oh, a lot of them too. Holy hell. Holy heck. Bloody hell. Alright, uh... Can I damage both of them? Damn it! I hate that I can't damage... Half the time they're not close enough to damage more than one. I'm trying to see which one I should get. I think I should try to get rid of this guy first. Because he is in the way. 
This guy's actually in a good position to survive. Uh, but he's not in a good position to actually hit somebody. Come on, 50% chance be on my side. You're not on my side, how dare you, you bastard of a chance. Alright, Overwatch. That's the only thing. Alright. Can't hit anybody, so I'm gonna have to move him there to hit that guy. And... Pop. Move her right there. And use the... You know what, I'm gonna stun him. Because we need to have a less, as much less firepower on us as possible. Alright. Decrease cooldown. Hmm. Enter. See what happens. He hit him, it does about a decent amount of damage, luckily. But he also does a shit ton of damage to Alexi. That isn't good. Oh no, they're gonna target. We're gonna have to restart this encounter. Yep. Fuck. Well, actually, no. We can revive him. We're gonna have to waste some of our. Well, I want to say waste. Fuck. But at least two of them are t close together now, and I can use my grenades to potentially damage them. Yes, revive him. Thank God we found that extra shit. Okay, okay. Uh Oh no! No! Oh fuck me. Fuck. I wish I could restart that action. Damn you. Damn it. <laughs> fuck. I hit I clicked the I clicked it too soon. At least kill the one, one of them. Boom. And then I'm gonna try to get him the fuck out of there. Go over there. Thank you. Now at least two of them are in somewhat safer conditions. We're gonna shoot him. It's, since we can't knock him out. And we'll use Wilhelm to go right next to and boink the shit out of him. Boink, your kneecaps are gone. Okay. We're in somewhat better conditions, I think. I think. I'm not sure. He is targeting Wilhelm, which is surprising. But Wilhelm is immune to shells. Is he gonna target Wilhelm again? Yes, he is. And he survived. The bastard survived. But we're all taking damage from the fucking cold. I'm gonna have to use this. Oh, is it on an individual shit? Well, fuck. Okay, okay, uh... Hit him. Bam. Uh... Stun him. Should have probably stunned the other guy, but we'll do what we do, needs to be done. And throw it he one here. It doesn't damage any of our guys, but it does sure hit the hell out of him. Bam. Yeah, I should have. Actually, my stun was wasted in completely. Because I was gonna kill both of them, alright? Overwatch. He survives, but I don't know. He might die from the cold. Fuck. Ah, Jesus. 18. Well, at least, well, we started off with only 5, so... I mean... It's better than nothing. Whew. 
Oof, new equipment collected. Sniper, I, what? Skill tree unlocked? What? There's a skill tree? Holy hell. There's a whole ass skill tree. This game is more, is bigger than meets the eye. I can increase the upgrades. Okay, look, there's a headshot ability he can get if he equips slash unequips or, I don't know, what the fuck? She has AP. What? This is crazy. I can stun. Obviously that. Oh, you need like sp very specific things for all that to be a thing. so weird what the hell squad sight that's what we got attack enemy units in sight within any allies range of a t ho, ho. that is that's that is actually very good holy hell but I want to keep the devastate okay Okay, it's combat. That's that's interesting. So we need to find very specific specific items to upgrade their like certain uh, their main ability of shoot. He has an M1 Grand Rifle. Oh shit! She has a sawed-off shotgun. He has, of course, grenades. And he has a baton. That this is this has become even more interesting. And we can access the skill tree at any time too. You just have to find the stuff. Fulgor storage. And, so and take more Fulgor. We got twenty three again. Yeah, there's definitely a room for like searching every single square inch for shit. Like, let's see. I can actually increase. Uh, her base damage. I can increase his base damage as well. Uh, and equipped, so now it's increased base damage to 10%. Uh, okay. And I already have it one in Alexi, so it's probably only for each. There's only one item for each. Like, if I give it to one person, I, the other person can't. Okay, this is cool. This is fucking cool. <laughs> just, uh, I'm gonna just immediately start searching every square inch of every area for shit now because of that. Caught me intrigued. Oh, there's an item. Fig Fulgur Ally Gloves. <laughs> Speaking of it, <laughs> I immediately find something. I'm like, oh, let me see. Okay, okay. Just gonna start grabbing all this. I wonder though if it sticks with only this party or if the, those the pieces of equipment show up with the other group. This is very in- this is cool. Now I'm just gonna be searching throughout the video as we move on for things that look like I can collect. That is Fogar Palette? That looks like something we can touch to search for. Oh, that's a combat scenario. That's a combat scenario. Oh, there's the one group. They're held hostage. But we're going to deal with this scroll hole. Uh, well, actually, that isn't as many as I thought. Oh, yeah. Do the double damage. Bam. Yeah, hundred percent that bitch.
and pow. And get you to cover. I know you can you don't need to use cover because of how strong you are. But might as well get you to cover to last a second longer. Bam. Uh, bam. That's in turn. And Overwatch is gonna be a bitch for you. Bow. Does half almost kills you. And your shotgun shit didn't do shit to me. Okay, it might do some shit to them though. Oh no, they're still targeting Wilhelm. They're idiots. You are all idiots. You're targeting the wrong person. He has armor. He'll be able to avoid damage like that. Idiot. 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 Uh, great. And uh, they also take some good damage too. And you know, throw a grenade right next to yourself. Damage the hell out of them. And you die. There's no way you're living. Bam. And then you... You die. Because you ain't living from that. Bam. And you... I don't know if you'll die, but take a boink. Oh, you died. Fantastic. We cleared out an area... We're about to meet a group up with the other group, but we have another item. Forearm armband. armband. Interesting. Oh, there's an item here too. Fulgor Alloy Cannon. That's cool as hell. Oh, if you do this, you will not be able to return and continue exploring. Not yet, go back. Okay, so let's head over here then, if there's more room for us to go over here. To find shit, maybe. Oh, there is some shit over here. Sniper earpiece. Er, and Fulgar. We gain more Fulgar than we need. Hoorah. Anything else? I don't see anything else. We've been just about everywhere, so I think it's time to go meet up with the other squad. And, I guess, reunite slash... Not yet, go back. We have to go near the door. That was weird. Yes, continue. This time. Emil! Emil, no! You know them? Sir, we have to do something. Attack! Blitzkrieg! Oh, we can only fight with four at a time? Oh, that would be cool if they all fought with us. Granted, I think at that point it will be overpowered as shit. Like, they wouldn't be able to do shit to us. Go all the way over there, Alexi! With your fucking move, you move and move and. Yeah, take out the guy furthest. This is gonna be a bitch and try to snipe from a mile away. Uh, let's see if I can give. Uh, yeah, let's give you a second. Because. We're going to overwatch, because I know those motherfuckers are going to move. And then I can't hit nobody, so I'm going to make myself even stronger with him. Now, Lena is in a different scenario, though. Can I knock out... I can knock out one of them. So I'm going to try and shoot the guy right across of us. Bam. Across of us, us. Cross of us, us, us. Cannot speak today. And knock him out, even though he's on one health. Might as well knock him the fuck out. And we can't do anything, so end turn. Is he gonna... He's gonna try to punch Wilhelm. The idiot. And he misses, thank god. 
Oh, there's two of them right there. I didn't know there was two actually. I didn't see that. Oh, their overwatch basically fucks him up. Told you the overwatch was good. And one of them die immediately. I am a tactical genius. Just, just, just believe what I said. Don't, don't look at any of the other times where I fucked up. <laughs> All right, move Alexi up. Oh yeah, he's basically fucked it. He's the only one left too. Take a grenade, you bastard. And bam, cleared. Alina. Well, you're welcome. You know for saving your lives. Dummy. Dummy. Thank you. Why are you here? Emil. Dummy? What happened? Ami. There's no time to explain. We have to go. I am not going back with, uh, with the uh, sensitives. No, Monomi. It's me who has to get you there. I need your help. You need me, but this is absurd. Domi, I'm happy that we could save your friend, but we have to move. Margaret is in danger, and I'm not losing time here. Margaret, Blythe. Margaret Bly Blythe. So it is the same individual. I thought it was two people that shared the same last name. Okay. Have you seen her? Do you know where she is? Who's asking? Emil, please. Do you know where she is? Is she in Thebes? No. Their convoy was raided in the snow. How do you know that? I... I have to find her. We have to. Give her to Butch. To Butch? Butch? <laughs> what are you doing? What? Who? How dare you? Margaret is coming to Nova. Ah, shit. Standoff time. Wilhelm, Emil. I suggest an agreement. Are you mad? Since circumstances have changed... The probability of finding Margaret working together is up to 900%. And then what? Then we'll see. How are we supposed to find her? We're going to Delafos 3 to ask the Oracle. It's our only chance. Yavol, we accept your help. For now. Do you have a vehicle within three hours in the south entrance of Thebes? Be prepared to leave. Go. A little angry there. <laughs> I would understand it. And it looks like we're heading back to the campfire. We're getting closer to, to, to Lafros 3. So I wonder where are we in the world? Are we in like closer to Russia or Northern Europe? Or are we closer to like Greece, for example? Because the Lafos, I, I'm pretty sure I keep butchering that word, and Thebe, Thebes, at least that's how I think those, both those words are pronounced, sound like Greek cities, at least. Granted, I don't think there's a frozen desert in Greece, or could even be a frozen desert, since most of it is mountainous. So maybe it's somewhere else. It's, this is just interesting, though. Very interesting trying to figure out where exactly and it looks like we're all grouped up together we got a sdkfz 250 i think and we got some variation of it that looks like a mix of a russian and a german half track and everyone's just chilling everywhere let's all look in the campfire it looks like we have four conversations all right we had no time to argue hannah emil what why did you let them come with us? Because we had no time to argue. And for now, we have a common cause. I trust Dummy. And with him, we have better chances to find Del Delafos 3 and get the information. And the rest of them, at least, are useful. You saw how they defeated those scavengers. 
Yes. If they make any suspicious moves, we take Ami and the giant and leave. Roger that. He won't disappoint you. Alina, do we trust them, sir? If Dummy says that admitting them raises our probability of success, I have nothing more to say. I get it. The dog girl can be a burden, but the others seem com competent, especially the sniper. The dog girl, Ami, never underestimate a sensitive soldier. She is an empath who ran from Delaphos 3 alone, barely controlling her power, and survived. With respect, sir, I'm not the only one who underestimates great potential. He is here only because you wouldn't have come otherwise. Alexei is a very competent soldier, and I'm giving him the opportunity to prove it. But if anything happens to him, it's your responsibility. Yes, sir. He won't disappoint you. I, I, seriously, I, all I gotta say, I love the little conversations in between uh, them. But I swear to God, every time, every fucking time I speak as one of them, my accent for the, each character changes. It doesn't even. It's not even the like the accent I'm trying to give them. Just my voice just changes. Uh, what, to, how I say their uh, dialogue, even. Because I want to try to give Alexei and Alina a more Slovak or Russian accent, but I keep like switching to some something else. I've never done a German type accent before, uh, and the others I I have no idea if they're French, Japanese, or any or English or I don't know what they are. Anyway, that's why you escaped, Dami, Ami, Ami. I am happy to see you. You are not happy to see me. You are not happy about anything. You don't have the ability to be happy or sad or feel anything. That's not true. It's just 45% true. Fucking dummy. See, you are like a machine and I'm not turning into someone like you. And that's why you escaped. You already know that. Ami, we talked about this. Learning how to manage your power and use it for a greater good doesn't turn you into a machine. That's what you say. And you don't trust me? Yes, but... None of those things are helping me to be a mercenary like Emil. That's what you say. Hmm. Then we got the last one, if you dare to. They're just silent staring at each other. I'm not talking... Ugh. <laughs> they were just staring at each other for a second, just like, eh. I'm not taking my off you. Re wow, I just fucked that up. I'm not t taking my eye off you, Renzo. That's really your name, if you dare to. To what? Ah! Ha ha! Ah, I get, I get it, because he was trying to goad him into actually fucking speaking because he just silent all the damn time. That's hilarious. All right, let's look at documents. We only, it looks like there was only documents at Nova at the moment. Didn't find anything else. Combat information. Uh, there's the cold, which affects specific missions or specific combat scenarios. Fulger can either revive a unit or defreeze somebody to get some health back. It can also cool down. It reduces the cooldown of specific moves. Uh, there's no more soldiers that we can get from there. The scavengers, though, you have the Duche, the Devil, the Quarrelsome, the Rampager, and the Vargas. It looks like the Rampager is a sniper of some kind. The Vargas is a heavy-duty guy. Uh, the Quarrelsome is a healer, even though every time they fought against us, they try to come in close and sla slap our shit. The Devil is a soldier, or just a regular soldier, I believe, and Duche is similar to a shotgunner, if I remember correctly. I wonder when we'll see these units. Uh, actually, let's look at the tips. Any new tips? 
adrenaline is uh, uh, useful in large terrain combats. You can combine with other units skill uh, using the skill squad site. Okay. Then there's a skill tree. These skill and basically we can upgrade certain things. We have all the people. And I'm going to actually upgrade Alexi. Give him that so he has the most increased shot damage as possible. Overwatch is actually very good. Adrenaline is also good, but I think I want to change it. Hmm. I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to... Oh, I can't. I have to have precision, don't I? Yes, we do. Hmm. Well, then I'll get headshot. Because I... Because adrenaline's good, but uh, he's becoming more of a sniper. Uh, like an actual fucking sniper, so I want him to be the more sniper type guy. Uh, these are all upgraded. I don't think... Yeah, Alexi has all that. I could do grab push and then... Uh, cover and then push. I have the upgrades for both cover and I have uh, push, but I'm gonna keep it like that. She can actually get more stuff. We have that. We can't. We'll get the weaken and then we will get the bleed. We can't get the encourage at the moment because uh, we have to find more, learn new skills with her. We can upgrade him. We can also get squad sight, but I don't want it for him, as I rather have the grenade. Uh, we can upgrade him, but we can't. And it looks like we can also get encouraged, but I rather keep headshot. With her, she's also a sniper, but I'm gonna give her squad sight. So, yep, there we go. Uh, and then we have Renzo, who we can upgrade that, or we can give him stun. Or bleed. Push. I don't care. Really care about push. Hmm. So, so I'm gonna give that. Oh, I don't have the. I, I don't have the ability to do that. I can upgrade that, but let me see the other guy. He can also. I'm gonna give him the upgrade, and I'm also gonna give him that. Then we're gonna keep encourage. And I can't do that, so I'm, I guess I'll put give him push again. And just checking. So you can only have four skills at the moment. It'll be kind of cool if there's like an upgrade eventually where you can have more skills or more equipment to upgrade. But yeah, that is basically that. And I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. It's a little bit shorter compared to the others. Well, I mean shorter probably by a couple minutes to four minutes maybe I don't know I haven't checked how long the other episodes are since I'm still editing them but yeah this was a pretty fun episode now we got eight characters and I, th I bet there's gonna be like once I select this a specific number of people can actually participate unless all eight fight together which feels like it's gonna be broken if all eight fight together at the same time but we'll see we'll see how combat goes from here since now we have eight individuals so yeah Hope you all enjoyed today's episode, I certainly did. Until next time, this is Ghost, signing out.